I'm going to take a couple of minutes to just set up a 10 watt solar panel to a controller powered by a deep cycle marine battery um, using an AC DC energizer. The things you'll need to purchase is the deep cycle marine battery. Probably want about 100 to 120 amp hours. You need to purchase the 10 watt or 20 watt solar panel with a stand. That comes with the controller and then you also need to purchase your AC DC energizer. To get started, you'll take this out of the box. It comes complete with the solar charge controller with the solar panel wires and the battery connection cable already in place. You'll see that once you have set this up, your panel light will be green because the sunlight is starting into the panel. Your battery light is blinking red because we have yet to hook it up to the battery. The thing we need to do now is hook our AC DC energizer up to our positive and negative. You'll take off the alligator clips and bare the wires so you have a positive and a negative. Positive into the positive slot, negative into the negative slot. You'll need a very small straight screwdriver. Tighten the screws down tight so they have a good firm connection. The next step would be to hit hook in your deep cycle marine battery, just to make sure everything's functioning before we mount it to the panel. Should be able to turn the system on. As you can see, the load is functioning, a red light. So in that case, we pick up our AC-DC unit. We compress the red button. We can see the green light flashing and also hear the clicking. So with that being said, we'll shut it back off. We know the system is functioning. Unhook your positive and negative battery terminal so we don't risk getting shocked. Last step would be to mount the controller to the panel so that it is protected from the elements. Comes with the two zip ties. Cut your zip ties if you prefer. Then you can hook your battery back in, hook your energizer to your ground rod and your fence and you'll be ready to go. I think the other thing that we need to touch base on is the importance of the controller and exactly what its functions are. I always say this is the brains of your solar unit. Solar panel charges battery, battery powers energizer. Without the use of a controller, we continuously die down our battery, decreasing the life of it. What the controller does is it has a low voltage disconnect, an LVD. When the battery drains down to 11.1 volts, the system shuts down and with that being said it will turn your energizer off. Allows for some time, not too much time, for the system to regain battery charge. Once the battery gets back up to 13.1 volts, system turns back on, energizer turns back on and we're not repetitively draining that battery down. Batteries are not always fully charged off the store shelf. Measure your voltage there, make sure you got 13.1 volts before you go out to the field to set up the unit or you'll get out here and your blinking light when you set this up will not be green and will be red telling you to charge the battery. In that case, you might want to take it back in and triple charge it. The other thing that the controller does is it doesn't allow the battery to back feed into the panel and it does not allow the panel to overcharge the battery. Always be sure that this has a green light here. Yellow will tell you that the system is starting to get low. Red will tell you that you have a dead battery. If the PV light is green, that tells you that the solar panel has is charging. Again, the brains of the operation, this will save the life of your battery. Any questions or concerns about your unit, you can feel free to call Powerfields.